Scorpion's right there. Yes! Okay, we stopped it from getting center. We have the Rampage now. The Tyrans are back, and we're using probably my favorite build right now in the game. Mix of old school and new school. The Tyran Mark III Typhon with Mark III Tyrans as well. We have double nuke amplifiers on it. We have a Rose Lynn Legendary Pilot, which will give us increased speed when we use our ability. We have all the pilot skills loaded up, and I'm using two nuke amplifiers just so we can get that damage stacked up extremely fast we have a revenant hawk what else deathwing aljun oroshi and our shotgun charango which i haven't used in a while let's add this singular reactor i'm hoping for the best here with this typhon the typhon is one of those robots you can do really well with it but if players if a lot of players are running anti-control modules you could run into some trouble but we're going let's get these trains charged up i think i'm gonna go with the bionic skin it looks the coolest and let's go beacon rush here we go Okay, we have landed here on Factory, and let's drop this thing right away. Lag, lag, lag. There we go. Okay, here we go. I've always said this. I don't know why for our Aegis Shield, it says 59,598. Why the 598? Let's make it 60,000. Okay, hold on. Uh... Okay, that Mender had an anti-control, so that did nothing. That's the problem with the Typhon. When players run a lot of anti-control modules, you kind of run into some trouble. Oh, this guy's getting chewed up. Ooh, that Nightingale was eating damage. Okay, our nuke Empire is already at 32. Man, they're attacking our home beacon right now. Oh, no. is That a, that might be a scavenger shell. That may be a scavenger shell. I thought some of my damage was going through that guy. Remember, do not run the scavenger shell. Um, man, they're really pushing our home beacons here. Let's see if we can... There we go. Okay, we hit this guy. Blackout. Boom. Kill. Our nuke amplifier is up to 70 already. It's good. We got double. Double nuke amplifier. Ah, man, I hope the nuke amplifiers are still good after the update. The nuke amplifier is the one module that I actually really like. Just because it makes... You know, gives weapons higher damage. It's fun. It's not like a last stand where... It's just annoying. Um, okay, if we can maybe get this beacon here. Because we're getting four capped right now. I'm telling you, man. These Tyrans are still actually decent. They may not be champion league level. But if you're like Masters League in, or lower. And you need some good medium weapons. Go for the Tyrans. And if they give the Tyrans a buff. It would be very, very good. Because then you could actually counter... A bunch of the newer weapons. Oh man, this Mender's the guy who has the, the anti-control. There we go. Double kill. Double kill. Whoa. Okay, this is a Revenant. You see he's got his uh, suppressant resistance on right now. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna hit him with the Orion ship. There we go. Triple kill. Man, that was a Revenant. And we just locked him down and took him out. That was decent. All right. All right. Okay, now we're dealing, like, really heavy damage. Our, our damage is going to be insane now for each Tyrant Pulse. Um, what is that, a Harpy up there? Okay, let's reload. Yeah, they just increased the damage in these Tyrants for, like, their base damage and buff them a little bit. They would be insane. Come on. And I don't think anybody would complain either because they're pretty easy weapons to get these days. Okay, there's a shell bot. Oh, we hit that Favnir, but he just... His stealth was activated. Oh, he used his shielding. We would have been able to take him out if we had a couple more seconds. Okay, let's see if we can wait for his... Oh, he lagged out a bit. Hold on, where is he? We can hit him here. There we go, we hit him. Boom, Favnir kill. Easy money. Easy money. Man, this beacon is a lot of chaos going on. The Typhon never seems like one of those build the robot. Sorry, I don't know what I just said. I just had a stroke saying that. The Typhon is one of those robots you don't want to go super close to enemies because they can then get inside your Aegis Shield and then it's harder to aim your blackout ability. So it's better to stay a bit further back. Not far away, but like okay, we gotta stop this guy. Yes, double kill! Here we go, there we go. Okay, we're getting a three cap. 
You're a bit ahead of us in the beacon bar right now. Um, okay, we're closing in here. This mender. Oh, his last. Oh, his last hand is triggered. He's just healing up past it. Okay, let's reload, reload, lock and load, lock and load. This revenant's probably gonna teleport at us. Man, we're chewing him up! Boom! Triple kill! That was a revenant! Oh, this guy's gonna die too! Oh, that guy behind us stole the kill! Let's see what we can do this to this notice. Okay, we hit him. Okay, blackout. No, that damage, it seemed like some of that wasn't registering there. That was a bit weird. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, Revenant attack. We're suppressed too right now. Oh, we hit him with the black, but it didn't do anything. Come on. Oh, we didn't get the kill! Somebody stole that kill from us! Okay. Finally. We died. The Luchador took us out. Let's, um, let's go big, bad, shotgun Sharanga. This build is still ridiculous. It's not as effective now since the Luchador is like OP, but <laughs> the damage on this thing is ridiculous. All right, um, let's kind of move up here. I did put a Titan Accelerator on here too, so we're moving a little bit faster, as you can probably tell. Last stand. Let's try to get in their spawn. Here we go. We're gonna get with Cinder right now. Here we go. Boom. Oh, this Nodens doesn't even know we're here. Okay, someone literally just stole that kill from me behind me. God dang. Uh-oh, they're still dropping in here. Oh, I don't know what... I probably shouldn't shoot at him, but he's... I probably shouldn't have shot at him. <laughs> we were just charging him up more. Okay, I think that may be it. They may be mech'd out, and that's game. Boom, there we go. All right, we got the win. We got a pretty good kill streak there with the Typhon. I think we can do even better with the Typhon Turan. Uh, what kind of damage? 5.11 beacon, not bad. Let's get into another game and run this Typhon build one more time. Here we go. Okay, we've landed, and we're running. We're running. With a type in Turan. Um, Alright. I'm very hopeful. Because the Typhon really isn't a top 5 robot in the game right now. I'm really excited to see what that new... Or how that new Typhon legendary pilot impacts the Typhon. Because I think it can bring some good things. Good adjustments. Uh-oh. this We killed that guy in the center. But this guy in the Oroshi is coming right at us. Oh. He got taken out somehow. Alright. Uh oh, what is this guy? Oh, we just missed him with the blackout. This Hiroshi. The amount of Hiroshis, I'm happy they're getting nerfed. Double kill, there we go. I'm happy the Hiroshis are getting nerfed, but they might be getting nerfed almost a little bit too much. Their durability and then ability is getting nerfed big time. It might be a bit overkill, but I am glad they're getting a nerf, just because it's so annoying how many Hiroshis are in the game right now. Triple kill, there we go. Uh oh, they're pushing that beacon right now. I'm not sure whether to help with my teammates there or keep an eye on center. Why is my teammate not getting center? Oh, it's because that scorpion's right there. Yes! Okay, we stopped it from getting center. We have the rampage now. We chewed that scorpion up with the trans. Man, even just the sound effects of the trans brings back some good nostalgia. Oh, that scorpion just teleported away. Darn it. The amount of misfires I do with the blackout ability on this thing is dumb. What is this? Oh, this guy's lagging out. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Waiting for his shield. And we're now suppressed. Oh, exactly. There was a misfire. Darn it. Um, man, are they forecapping this right now? What the? What was that? There we go. Okay, we killed him. Man, that was weird. Oh, he's got to... Everyone's got anti-controls, man. I'm telling you. Everyone except us, ironically. Uh-oh. 
Double Favnirs are shooting at us. See, it's it's really difficult to aim Turans when you're really close to enemies. There we go, double kill. Okay, can we get out of here a little bit? Triple kill. We just got healed up somehow. Oh, man. They're really pushing. They're, they still have a four cap. We might be in trouble here. We have to somehow clear these guys out of here. Oh, man. Our legs are busted up. We're so slow. We're so slow. stuff see for some reason it's just so hard to aim these weapons with you know, when you're in with it what am i saying when you're within like a hundred meters they just five cap this i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get rid of this robot i can't even get up here look how slow we're moving i can't even drop it on a beacon if someone gets a beacon i'll ditch this thing man we're chewing these guys up and we're gonna lose the game Man, this is a little game. The game is over. That was a disappointment. Maybe we didn't push beacons enough, but I was just trying to protect them with the Typhon. But guys, that is going to wrap it up. So that is the Mark III Typhon with the Mark III Tyrans with the maxed out double nuke amplifiers. It's definitely a fun build to use. I wish Pixonic would buff the Tyrans like 10%. I mean, they're buffing all these older weapons like the Zeus 10%. Why not throw the Tyrans 10%? Do it, Pixonic. Peace.